welcome to my channel my name is Marsha and today I have an exciting new project well new for me that I want to share with you guys today it's the Scandinavian star Christmas ornament and I'll be showing you guys how I made this one today before I do that I would like to show you guys some of the stars I made myself this is my personal favorite and that's just um, one solid color you can use two different pieces and this is just another one I made which I really like as well that's the red to that green some of them I have not put the yarn on just yet, but I'll get around to doing them. We have these. And this is my personal favorite, well my second personal favorite, my snowman. Alright, so let's get into the items that you will need for today. So first things first, you need fabric. You can choose any fabric that you like. Today I'll be using two contrasting pieces of fabric so that I can show you how the folds work in making the Scandinavian star. This piece or the, the four pieces should measure 16 inches by four inches approximately. For this star for this size star and at the widest point it measures about four and a half inches you'll also need some type of clip you can use your fabric clips today I'm using these mini clothespins you need a pair of scissors a tapestry needle in and the tapestry needle that you're going to use, it needs to be, um, the, the eye needs to be large enough to hold, to pull through your yarn and as well as pulling through this star. You also need a piece of yarn and I think this is actually, uh, approximately, nine inches so you can cut your piece of yarn nine inches like I did or you can cut it um, to your preference and you know how however long you want your ornament to hang off the Christmas tree or wherever you're decorating you can do that you also need an ironing board or an ironing surface and you need an iron Today I'll be using fabric fuse. You can also use a glue gun. Um, the problem I had with using a glue gun is that um, the glues tend to be messy and it was showing all over the star. So I prefer to use the fabric fuse. Um, however, if you want to use a glue gun, you should um, ensure that it has a precision tip that will give you that, that will, can get into the small, corners of the star so that it doesn't show all right so first things first we will need to prepare our pieces of fabric so I'm going to grab our first piece and I'm going to fold it in two I'm going to uh, ensure that it's right down the center and then I'm going to iron. Then I'm going to take my two ends and bring them to the middle.
and then I'm going to eye in once more And then we're going to fold that once again and I am. And I'm going to do the same for all four pieces. Now we have all four pieces done, we are going to start folding. So the layout is like this, we're going to fold each piece in two. Some people fold one shorter than the other, but I'm just going to fold it in half evenly like this. And you're going to lay them out like this. One fold ends this way, one fold here, the fold here and ends that way. I'm going to do the same but in opposite directions or just beside the first one here. So fold this way, ends that way, fold it in half. Fold this end ends out here. So I'm going to put that fold in. And we're working in a clockwise motion. And that fold, those ends go into that fold. And these ends go into this fold. And then we're going to tuck these ends into this fold. And then we're going to pull. And you're going to pull this nice and tight because you want the center of your star to be nice and neat. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to turn your fabric over. You're going to flip it over like this. And then with the top pieces, you're going to fold them over like this. So we start with this piece, just using the top piece, we're going to fold it over like this. This piece, do the same. 
same again here and with this last piece we're going to tuck it right under that piece there and once again we're going to pull on the fabric and make that center nice and tight so so our next step will be to make the points and at this point I like to iron the piece just gives those fold a nice crisp look okay so I'm going to start making my points I'm going to start with this piece and work my way around so we'll grab this piece and you want to ensure that the fold is on the surface or it's laying you want to make sure that the fold that you're going to tuck your end in is laying flat so we're going to fold our fabric over like this we're going to give it a, a press and we're going to flip it over then we're going to fold it into a triangle like that Give it another press. And then we're going to cut the excess off just enough to tuck into this piece right here. Then we're going to fold one more time. And then we're going to tuck it into that piece there. I'm going to pull on that piece there just to secure that end. And there you have it. Our first point is done. And I'm going to just do this one. Fold, flip it over, fold one more time into a little triangle, and we're going to cut our piece off, that excess, and fold one more time. Tuck that piece under here. And pull. And there we have our second point. So I'm going to do the same for the remaining pieces.
So here we have our completed Scandinavian star ornament. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to put the piece of yarn through so we can hang it on the tree. So we're going to get our yarn and our needle which I've already prepared. And I like to go right in the center here and just go right through the middle and I'm going to pull my yarn through you have to do a little wiggle okay What I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the end and I'm going to pull it through and I'm going to hide it. Just like that. Now I'm going to use my fabric fuse and I'm going to, just going to add a thin layer into all the little corners and pin it together. So I left my star to dry for a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to remove the pins. And here we have our finished star. I want to thank you so much for watching today. If you are new to this channel, why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Thank you once again to everyone. Take care. Bye.